Okay, to start off with, we'll start off with a nice easy um, fade effect on the on the text in your screen. So, what you do first of all is you have your text and you have it selected down here, and then you click on. The, there's a little yellow tab on the left hand corner of it, of the, on the left hand side, sorry, of the of this uh, timeline bar. Click on that. It'll highlight in white, and you'll be able to change all your your settings over here. Um, so to ha to have the the fade effect, what you do is you start off with um, your text, and you have the opacity slider set to full, which will be have have the little button on the right hand side of the the slider bar. And then what you do is after that, is you go across your timeline, and there's a little yellow tab on the right hand uh, side of the timeline. If you can't see this your little yellow tab. Click this little icon here, which says "Show Full Timeline," and that should make it appear. Click on that, so that's highlighted in uh, white now. And then you change the opacity bar, and you slide it all the way to the left, so you can't see the text on your screen. Go back to the start, and then play a video, and you'll see your text disappears. Very nice, uh, simple, effective. Um, uh, fade effect that I use um, a lot in my my videos, and you can see as it's playing, you'll see the opacity, the little button slides down the bar, so that's that's it changing during the video. You can also uh, reverse that effect, so you can have the the text invisible to start off with and fading into the screen. So to that, you just to do that, you just reverse the process. So at the start, clicking it down here and change the opacity down to, to nothing so that the text is invisible. Go to the end, slide it across so it's visible, and play the video again. And you see it starts off invisible and fades into the screen. Now, you can have the text fading into the screen and out of the screen at the same time. Go back to start and it's invisible just now. And what you do is slide uh, your your sort of timer along a little bit. So now it's at 0 0.7 seconds. And you click on this little icon here which says insert key. Click on that and if we just come off that just now, you'll see there's a little yellow box now on the timeline where you, where you clicked on. Uh, click on that and that yellow, little yellow box will highlight in white and this is effectively the same as clicking on either the left hand side or the right hand side of your timeline uh, it, it gives you a place on the timeline where you can change the settings so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity to full just now and you'll see as you move back and forth along the timeline the text actually fades in a lot quicker and by the time it reaches that little yellow key that you put in the text is now full and you'll see afterwards, because at the end the opacity is set to full, and at this key it's set to full, this whole sort of gap within the timeline, the text will appear as full. So if you want it to fade out afterwards, but you want to, the text to stay on screen for a while, move your timeline along again, so it's now 1.3 seconds, insert another key and leave the opacity at full. So what you want to do is in this gap here you want the text to fade in fade in, sorry. Between the two keys you want the text to to sh to appear, so you want the text to stay at its full opacity. Um between this key and the end you want the text to fade out again. So you go to the end end button and you change the opacity back down to, to nothing. Now and then, just double check everything. So, watch the opacity bar on the on the uh, the menu here. So as you slide it up, you'll see the opacity bar slides up, and so does the visibility of the text. And you see in the middle, the opacity bar stays at the top, so that the text is visible. And then after this other key, you see the opacity bar slides down, and the text is invisible. So play that to that normally and you see the text fades in and fades out.
it's just a basic fade effect. Uh, something like I said, something I use a lot in my videos, uh, and I hope um, this helps you to do the same in yours. Okay, so have your text moving across the screen. Uh, you do the following: click on, on your little start tab, and then move the text somewhere on the screen. Uh, I like to just keep things nice and rounded off, so so we've got the position at X, so it stays in centre, and position Y at 0 0.9, so it's quite near the top of the screen. And you'll see as you play it, the, the text actually moves, but um, if you leave it at that, what happens is wherever you move the text at the start, it will always return back to the centre of the screen. Uh, which and, and a lot of people don't want that. So to stop that, what you do is you click on the end and you move the text again to where you want it to finish. So hit zero, um, but I'll leave it at 0 0.6. So it's it's still up near the top of the screen, but it's not as close as it was at the start. And then you see as you slide it along, the text moves at the top of the screen and it does it, it moves where you want it to move and you can do the same for going across the screen if you want your text to uh, kind of scroll from off the screen and come onto the screen what you do is uh, just change the values until the text is off the screen so what I'll do is I'll change my position Y at the start to 1.1 and what happens is that's effectively moved it flipping bar at the top. Well, that's moved my um text off the top of the screen. So it, it is up there but it's just beyond what you can see. And you'll you'll understand when I play the video, you'll see it comes down off the top of the screen and comes into view. So you just do the same. And um so yeah and that's that's um how you do that. To have your text changing size uh, during during a video, what you do is uh, you can change the scale values at the start. So I'm just going to change mine to two just now, and uh, I'm actually going to leave it at two because uh, at the end uh, you'll see the scale values are set to one, and as you move along, you'll see the text get smaller, and you just play around with the settings until you get the desired effect. Um, it doesn't take uh, too long. It's, uh, one thing I like about um, the Trackmania editor is it's very user friendly and very easy to get hold of, like kind of grasp and get to know. So um, just play about with the settings. You know, you're not going to damage the game, or you're not going to damage, you know, your your text effect or your animation by by just messing about with it. Um, so yeah, just uh, change the settings uh, to what you want and. Uh, yeah, and and that's how you you kind of change the size of your text. You just have the the scale values differently at the start and at the end of your video.